get our full-blown acceleration here with the uh, Ridgeline. Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's video, we're gonna be going over a 2021 Honda Ridgeline Sport that has been lifted. But first and foremost, a huge shout out and thank you to Stockton 12 Honda here in Utah for giving me some time with this Ridgeline. Check out their image on the link below. Let's get straight into the video. Now under the hood of the Ridgeline, we have a Nachi aspirated 3.5 liter V6 that goes through a nine speed automatic transmission. Fuel economy is 18 around town and then 24 on the highway with power outputs being 280 horsepower and then 262 pound feet of torque. Let's go over the front end of the Ridgeline. So first off from a front end perspective, you've got a pretty flat hood here. It does kind of like concave on the side. And then coming down below, you've got these full LED lights. They're super bright. They're kind of blinding me right now. Got a little sport badge there in the middle of the grill. And then you've got the Honda logo, which doubles as a sensor. And then I love how this portion right here is all blacked out. Definitely a nice little touch. Contrast nicely to the silver paint of this truck. And you got the little turn signal indicator just down below. But other than that, there is your front end look on this Ridgeline. Coming around the side here, you've got two 65 millimeter tires wrapped around 18 inch wheels in the front and over in the rear as well. And then this truck does also have a three inch lift. The overall setup I think looks absolutely fantastic. I love how they went for a fully blacked out wheel because I think it just contrasts nicely to like the other blacked out elements on this sport package. And then you can see they did a really aggressive tire as well. And there's kind of like a look at the whole uh, lift system there from the front end perspective. You also get these nice like off-roading side steps on this truck and then fully blacked out mirrors. And then notice that you've got a little rack there at the top. But other than that, here is your full side view and the stance on this Ridgeline. I think it just looks really good. the bed of this Ridgeline. So first off, payload capacity is 1,543 pounds. I love the whole like composite bed on the Ridgeline. I think it just looks really nice. And then obviously it's an added layer of protection. So you don't have to worry about scratching up paint or anything like that here in the rear. And then other than that, I feel like it's a pretty good size for a mid-size pickup truck with a bed. And then again, this does have a three inch lift. Now, if you guys are wondering, it's probably um, like the actual like tailgate height, I would say is about three feet off the ground roughly, maybe just a little bit more if you guys are kind of wondering from like a height perspective with how high it is to load up stuff into this truck. Let's go over the rest of the rear of the Ridgeline. So we've got all of our badges here on the back. You've got a little sport badge right there. You've got the C-shaped taillights and then you have the circular exhaust tips there at the bottom which look really neat. Towing capacity is about 5,000 pounds but we have something else. Yes, we've got the awesome tailgate system right here so it does open up like a barn door and then you do get some extra storage underneath so you press this and it unlocks it and then notice that you've got tons of storage you do get your spare tire in that area as well and then you guys can see all the snow <laughs> pouring down but notice that it is not going here because they have this really cool system right here you guys can see it's kind of like a little water moat and so then it prevents the water from getting into this little area when it does snow like that which i think that's another cool little feature but that's all for that little area of the ridge line and so so you now here's the door panel on the back of the ridge line so first off got a nice soft touch here with the stitching that goes all across and then you've got a cup holder which is very important and then we do have these full cloth seats i really like the pattern here on the seats themselves you got the nice stitching that goes around and then if you pull this up we've got some extra storage space underneath the seat and then it also allows you to have like a flat loading floor under the seating area but let's actually pop in these side steps actually do help out quite a bit and now that i'm in here the ridge line is actually really good for headroom so if you're a taller person you can fit in here pretty well i'm 5'11 and then you've got pretty good leg room as well. Got a couple of vents down there and then some extra storage space in those little areas. And then this pulls down to be like a gigantic armrest slash cup holder situation. That's the back of the Ridgeline. Here's the door panel on the front of the Ridgeline thing. And you've got all the nice soft touch leather here with the stitching that goes across all of your window controls in this little area. You've got your door lock and unlock. And you got little gas cap release just down below. And then here are the seats at the front. So you got that same gray cloth with a cool kind of like hexagonal design there in the center portion. They are manually adjustable. Got the pedal layout there at the bottom portion with the parking brake, your hood latch release. And then you've got your mirror controls up here. That's your eco mode. You've got the lane departure assistance. You've got the stability control, the collision assistance, and then the cargo light as well. The steering wheel is manually adjustable. And there's one more look before we pop in. And 
use the steering wheel in the ridge line so they kind of did like a rougher texture on the whole steering wheel so that you get a little bit of a better grip on it if you have cruise control on this side you've got your lane keep assist and then paddle shifters on either side to shift the gears yourself that nine speed automatic and then you've got this for the center stack and then you get your voice command phone controls and then you've got your volume controls as well and then notice you've got little stock there for the turn signal and the lights and then you got the windshield wiper stock on the other side and that's all for the steering wheel. Now here's the gauge cluster in the ridge line. You've got analog gauges for like the temperature, the fuel, and then the RPMs. And then you do have that screen where you can scroll through a couple different menus. You guys can see like the tire pressure, for example, right there. Um, and then you can see like fuel economy, all that kind of stuff. Pretty straightforward setup. And then you do have a digital readout for the speed there at the very top. Here's the center infotainment system in the ridge line. First off, if we pop it into reverse, you've got the backup camera with trajectory lines that do turn with the steering wheel. And then you do have a couple different viewpoints, like you can do that little viewpoint, and then you can even zoom in if you'd like. So really good on the camera system perspective. I like the resolution's really solid as well. Now, as for the rest of the infotainment system, I love the uh, red outlining. I definitely think it's a cool little look. You've got the buttons on the outside. If you actually press them, they respond really well. If you're an idiot like me and don't actually press them, nothing happens. So, yes, obviously you got to do that. But, yeah, overall, I think the touchscreen response time is really good. It's got all your regular stuff, your phone controls, voice command controls, all that kind of stuff. Like, everything that you could ever really want with an infotainment system, and it's there. We've got our climate controls just down below. This does come with a dual zone climate system and pretty straightforward, pretty easy to use. I'm glad that they have it like down here and it's not like integrated into the infotainment system. More storage space right there. And you get a little power outlet system with some extra storage space here in the front. Couple more cup holders. And then we've got our whole transmission selector here. So you've got your park, reverse, neutral, and then you have the D for drive. And then S is kind of like your sport mode. Um, so if you want to kind of do sportier driving, then you go into S. And other than that, that's the whole transmission select system. We've got our auto stop start to turn that on or off right there. And then this is actually another kind of like drive mode select. So it pops up here in the center screen and notice we've got 100% oil life. That's good. Anyways, normal snow, mud, and sand. They're kind of like the different traction parts of the ridge line. So depending on the conditions you're at, we'll determine which mode you go into and Again, it's just that little button right there. So we've got our center console here, which is absolutely massive for a mini pickup truck like this is. And then you can see that down there you can charge a couple of devices, which is nice. And then I do like the material here on the outside of the center console. I think that's a nice little look. And then I like this material on the dash as well. And then we've got a pretty normal glove box right there. And then finishing things here at the top, you've got your sunglass holder. It's got a lighter colored headliner. And well, that's all for the top of the ridge line. Now that we're done going the interior on this ridge line, let's quickly get into the pricing. So in terms of pricing, this ridge line stickers for about $45,000 with all the accessories it has. If you're wondering, the lift is about $3,000 and then the tire and wheel setup is about another $2,500. So that kind of adds into everything. That all being said though, Let's take this three inch lifted ridge line out and see how she drives. Well, let's talk about visibility here on the ridge line before we set off. So first off, Honda ridge lines are really easy to see out of from the front perspective. The hood's not super long, so it definitely helps out with visibility. And then there's your visibility through both of the mirrors. And then here's throughout the rest of the rear. And just that extra inch that this has compared to that other ridge line I reviewed actually helps out a lot. Like this feels like significantly taller. It's weird. But anyways, let's set off. We are initially setting off here in this three inch lifted Honda ridge line. And this thing feels like pretty like it feels it's it's got like that smaller truck size feel but at the same time it's like high enough off the ground now that it feels like a like a full size truck almost um but let's actually talk about the road noise and the ride quality so i'm driving this back to back with a ridge line that has a two inch lift and you can for sure perceive the difference between both the trucks this definitely um, once you go up to that three inch mark it seems like this definitely has quite a bit more body roll compared to the ridge line with the two inch lift man these utah drivers um <laughs> <laughs> and then the other thing with this uh, three inch lift is it's kind of uh, feels like it's a little bit rougher with the ride quality, but it's not a huge difference. If you didn't drive them back to back, then you really wouldn't complain. It's just driving the back to back that I can actually perceive the difference. And then in terms of the tires and everything, 
they're not loud at all like it you don't get a whole lot of tire noise which i mean that's definitely a huge plus and i'm going to pop it over into the s mode which is your sport mode for the ridge line went down a gear instantly because it's going to give us a little bit more power in the sport mode brakes are really good on the ridge line that's definitely a high point of the truck is it i mean it is smaller which makes sense but it definitely has a good amount of stopping power which is another thing that i can for sure appreciate about the truck and i think these paddles are like perfectly placed also they're like the perfect size and everything but let's get our full-blown acceleration here with the uh ridge line vtech bro <laughs> i had to say it um so it's it's pretty good i mean for a mid-sized truck it's right where it needs to be from a power perspective i just drove a tacoma yesterday and i mean it feels about the same acceleration wise as the tacoma they're pretty much the same now transmission wise this transmission seems to shift a little bit smoother like it's not as intrusive um, as the transmission and the tacoma but they're both still pretty good and i think for a lifted vehicle this is definitely like really nice like most lifted trucks drive like crap right now the truck i'm driving is lifted that uh, while my truck gets wrapped and it's just so like it's loud and it's obnoxious and it rides rough this doesn't drive bad at all like it's smooth it still feels nice you can definitely tell that this is lifted the uh, ridge line with a two inch lift it's kind of harder to perceive it felt pretty normal this you can definitely tell a difference um but let's get into setting things up with this ridge line so Again, I think it rides really smooth, especially for a lifted vehicle. I think it looks fantastic. I love how they did the blacked out wheels. I think it accents this truck perfectly with all the other blacked out elements. And yeah, from an exterior to X perspective, definitely the best Ridgeline I've ever seen. And then from an interior perspective, it's got all the nice safety tech, infotainment systems, easy enough to use. Um, acceleration is right where it needs to be for a mid-size pickup truck. I mean, they're all pretty much about the same from a power figure standpoint, which is kind of weird. Someone needs to like throw a V8 in a pickup truck or something. Um, and then as for the rest of the truck, I don't know, I think it's cool. It's got the cool tailgate. It's got that extra storage space is really practical. And so, yeah, if you're looking for a new mid-size pickup truck, you've got to check out the Ridgeline. And if you've got a ridge line, I'd look into lifting one. It's pretty cool. Now that is gonna sum things up for our video on this 2021 Honda ridge line with the three inch lift. And again, a huge shout out thank you to Stockton 12 Honda here in Utah for giving me some time with this ridge line. Check out their inventory link below. I'll see all of you in the next video.